Hello everyone. Happy Easter. I hope everybody had a great day. Um, had a lot of food. Ate some good desserts. I'm just sitting here lounging around. Been a busy day. Really busy day. As usual. It seems like it's always been as usual. I got people, um, and things, and, and I got a lot on my plate. But, um, yeah. I hope everybody had an awesome day. Let me just get organized. I had done my nail tutorial really quick today. Um, I didn't want to keep everybody on because it's kind of boring. Hey, Randy. How are ya? So I didn't want to keep everybody on, you know, for too long. You know, it's kind of boring just sitting there watching somebody do their nails. So, um, they are done. I finally did them. Um, I cut them down pretty short, but they are done. I did a little, the fluorescent pink on this one. And, uh, added a little sparkle. Hey, sissy, how are ya? So I was just showing, um, what I did to my nails. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Hello, hello. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Deirdre. Hi, Janet. Hi, Sissy. I feel like I'm saying, like, the, what is that? Good night, John boy. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's my little mouse. I was going to put my Easter one on, but I don't know. I've had this one on all day. Hey, sugar, Shug. How are all my girls doing for Easter 2020? Are we doing all right? So, my nails are done. I cut them down a little shorter. Only because, um... It's just easier to work with them short. So, if you watched my tutorial before... I was doing my thumb, and then we were, I took this nail off, what was left of it, I sanded it down, and I wound up putting a new tip on it, and then overlaying it with acrylic. So, that one, I'm not flipping you the bird. <laughs> I'm not flipping you the bird. Um, happy Easter, Jenny. How are you, gorgeous? So... I hope everybody at least had a good dinner, a nice lunch, or you cooked something, you had some really good dessert, something that's going to just get us out of this, ugh, this doldrum that we're in, right? Hey, Belinda. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Pansy. See how you doing? Happy Easter. Happy Passover for those of you that are of the Jewish faith. I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to grab one of my other shades. What color is this one? Of course, it's khaki too. I'm going to go in with, let's see. I'm going to go in with linen tonight, which is a little bit of a lighter color for my foundation. My brother's doing good. Thank you for asking, beautiful. Hi, Rosie. Happy Easter, Deborah. How are you? Everybody have a good day? Um, I started my day this morning with... Um, I'm tired. I'm really tired. Look at the bags. Definitely tired. I know. I think everybody wishes that they could have had a much better Easter, but... At least we're here, we're alive, we're breathing. Hopefully your family is healthy. Hopefully your family is healthy and um, that you spent it with somebody. Not that you spent it alone because I don't want anybody spending the holidays alone. It's actually, it's not, it's a mouse. I was going to put my bunny one on, but I wound up putting the, the the little mouse on. So I'm just going to go and lighten up underneath my eyes a little bit because they're pretty baggy. <laughs> they're pretty baggy tonight. 
So was everybody able to watch my, I know a couple of you were on watching my nail tutorial, me doing my nails. I know it's boring. It's like watching, waiting for water to, to boil. So you didn't have to stay on the whole time. I was just wondering um, if any of you were on because I finished them earlier on today. It didn't take me as long as I thought. So that's always a good thing. Hey, Christine, how are you, Kaz? I hope you had a good day. Hope you had a good Easter. We're just going to come in with, um, this is linen. This really pretty much matches my skin tone. So we're just going to go in with a color that matches. So did everybody get an Easter basket? Did everybody get an Easter basket or an Easter gift or an Easter plant or something? I hope. Some some jelly beans. Did you color Easter eggs? This year was the first year that I did not color Easter eggs. And I am like, I still can't believe that I haven't colored them. I, I hard boiled a bunch of them and I never colored them. So I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I guess everybody like, you know, you're getting in that mood, I guess. And maybe that's what it was. So, this is the color linen. And I'm just going to bring it down my head. Down my head. I can't even talk right now. I'm so tired. Thank you for everybody that joined in the yoga class today. Every day at 2 o'clock, we're doing yoga. And there's more and more people that are joining. And it's great. We have a blast. We have so much fun. They killed the Easter Bunny. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit green and a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow. I know that sounds like, ooh. But we're going to go a little crazy on our eyes tonight. Um, I figured might as well go a little bit brighter. Um, first, we're going to go and get our brows done. And I'm just going to go in, since I have Addiction Palette number one out, uh, I am not a unique presenter, so... But I do have all of my unique products. I was an exclusive green status presenter until I resigned my position with Unique. Um, I am still a hungry, very hungry makeup artist. Looking for work and it's very hard, especially right now. Uh, freelance makeup artist. So... Hopefully, this will all pass. This shall soon pass. I'm hoping. Easter funk. Yeah, I guess that's what that's a good way to put it. I guess I'm in an Easter funk. I think a lot of people are, though. I don't think I'm alone in it. So, we're just going to go in and we're going to start our brows. We were just watching um, the Bible. The story of the Bible is on right now. So, I was watching that. Hi, Joe. Avon is essential in doing business. Avon is essential in doing business. Um, so are, I think, all the other multi-level marketing businesses I love Avon I love Avon I buy I like their skin so soft um I wouldn't do multi-level marketing with Avon that's not something that I would do but um Avon's been around for a very very long time and they just recently Got into more of the multi-level marketing as far as online. So, I don't know if anybody else likes Avon, but yeah, I like Avon. I like Avon. Ding dong, remember the old TV commercial with the, the Avon lady coming to your house? Ding dong. <laughs> I remember that. I might be too old for you guys, though. I might be too old. 
so we're just making our brows a little fleek tonight. On oh, fleek tonight. And I'm just trying to keep them nice and straight. Ding dong, Avon calling. Yeah, see, you remember it, boo. I knew she would remember that. All right, let's ombre these brows. And I'm just going to go and push them up. And then pull it in. Okay, that's it. Same thing with the other side. Push it up. And then push it in. Now right there I made a little boo-boo, so I'm just going to come and take that off. And we're going to clean up underneath anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, anywho. Avon calling. <laughs> See, Deirdre, we're around the same age. We're close in age. I think, I don't know who, do you know who's been around longer, Avon or Mary Kay? That's a good question to Google or ask Siri. Somebody ask Siri. Who's been around longer? I'm wondering. We should take a poll. We should take a poll. Who's been around longer, Mary Kay or Avon? What do you think? Hey, Jen, Jen, um, Jeanette, I'm sorry. Who's been around longer? Shug or somebody can go and, and do it for me. You think, Avon? Let's see. Is somebody Googling it for me? Somebody Googling it? Is the answer Avon? Hi, Diana. Is the answer Avon? Avon's been around longer than Mary Kay. Is that true? Jessica May. Mary Kay's been around longer. Wow. Wow. Avon started in 1886. Are you sure about that? Happy Easter. I can't even imagine Avon being around in 1886. I don't think that that's right. Can somebody double check on that for me? When Avon started? Jessica May! Alexa just said it. You sure it's not 1986? <laughs> Lord! That's a long time. So somebody said Mary Kay's been around longer, but now you're saying that is false. That is a falsehood. We're going to put our white on our waterline, start off like that, and then we'll build around that, okay? So we're going to do the white on the waterline first. Yeah, Tia, you ask her. Jumps, look and see what you say... Siri, what year did Avon start? And Siri, what year did Mary Kay get started? Okay, there's my white on my waterline. Alright, so we're going to go in with some greens. We're going to go in with some yellows. And we're going to go in with some oranges. So I think we're going to put yellow first on our... Hi, Jody. Avon, really, Deirdre? 1886. Thank you, Joe. I just did them. Just did my nails. I cut them down short. We filled them in today. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a different page on how to do your nails. Because if you can learn how to do your own nails, I know that it's like a luxury. I know that a lot of you like to go and get your nails done. I do, too. Trust me. But if you could do your own nails and save yourself some money 
And Mary Kay, 1964, Deirdre, really? Wow. I mean, 1880s, if you think about it, 1886, Mary Kay, uh, Avon. Holy crud. We're going to put the yellow on our lid. And we're just going to put it just on our lid. And the same yellow on the other side. This is going to be a bright look tonight. It's going to be bright. That's okay. Sometimes, you know, you do an easy everyday look. Sometimes you do a little crazy look. This is a little crazy for me. I'm not used to this, so I'm going outside of my comfort zone. 1886. Wow. We weren't doubting you, Tia. We weren't doubting you. It just seems like it was so, that's like so long ago. I know. And I said, anybody that lives in North Carolina near Raleigh, I will do your nails. I will do your nails. Um, if you need your nails done, just let me know. Avon is 134 years old. Wow. Thank you, Robin. So we're going to take the green and we're going to go and start the green on the inside of the crease. So we're going to start here nice and light and then build it up out here. So we're just going to start in here and just start building out the green. Everybody's getting the same answer. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter and Happy Passover. Happy Easter and Happy Passover. And like I said, I was just watching um, the Bible. It, there's um, a series. I guess it's a series and it's on TV. And I've been watching it for the last hour or so. I didn't even know it was on. And let me tell you, I am so not knowledgeable when it comes to the Bible. She did press-on nails. Well, now they have um, their press-on nails. Some of them are really good, I heard. I heard some of them are actually really good. So if you're not a nail technician like me, then... If that's the only thing you could do and make them look good, then then do it. That's what I would say. All right, so there's the green. Jessica May, what year were you born, Jessica May? Everybody make fun of Jessica because she hates a middle name. That's why we keep saying Jessica May. So, Jessie Jumps is not Jessie Jumps. She is Jessica May or Jessie May. <laughs> Hello, Melissa. Happy Resurrection Day. Yes, happy Easter. Bon Pascal. Bon Pascal. All right, so we're going to go and what color? Orange? Orange or blue? Orange or blue or purple. I feel like it, for some reason I know it's green, but I feel like I should be in, um, what is that movie? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> That's what I feel like it should be. So from now on, Jessica May, Jesse May, that's your name. Don't wear it out. Don't wear it out. All right, we're going to blend it. I do feel like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Not an Oompa Loompa, though. So anyway, so today, I woke up. I had my coffee. We did our yoga class. Um, is Tara in here? Tara joined our yoga stretch class. Um, and I'm so happy that she joined. It was great. It was great having her in. And um, I really think, for those of you who have been watching me now, and I keep telling you that I have this, like, a lot of energy. I really think it's because I'm doing the vitamins. I'm drinking a lot of water. And I'm doing yoga every day. Whether I feel like it or I don't feel like it. So. All I know is my stomach's hurting. We did a lot of, um, a lot of stomach exercises today. 
so I'm a little sore. But every day you're going to be a little bit sore, right? If you're not sore, that means you didn't work hard enough. That's the way I look at it. All right, so I'm going to grab another brush, and we're going to go into our... I'm going to go into, like, a little bit of the blue. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the blue on the outside here. And I'm going to do the little triangle. We're going to have like a rainbow on our eyes. We're going to look like an Easter egg. Okay, so there's the blue. And then we're going to do the blue on this side. Do the little triangle. Okay, you see the little triangles? Jesse, you better be scared of Rosie. She'll knock your socks off. She'll knock you out. And I'm just pulling that blue up and in. Take that blue and just push it up and in. Okay, all the way around and in. So the yoga class went really good, and then right after the yoga class was over, I went and I did my nails. We did the nail tutorial, which was fairly quick because, like I said, I don't want to go on and bore everybody. So I went on for a little bit. I showed you guys how I um, repaired this nail. This nail um, was the one that was broken. So we filed it down with the drill, and then we put a tip on it. And then I applied the acrylic, but I applied the Bond-Aid first, then the Bond-X, then the acrylic. And then we filed it with the drill again. And we brought the nails down a little bit shorter than normal. And then I didn't know, I wanted to use this hot pink, but I figured add a little bit of sparkle on it, make it a little different. So that's why I did that. All right, we're going to go in underneath our eyes with the blue because we got the blue here, so we might as well come and bring that blue right under. And the same with the other one. Bring this one under. So I don't know if you want to... I'm going to open up a class. Thank you, Tia. I'm going to open up a class, and if you want to watch and you want to learn... If you want to purchase any product, you can purchase product from me, um, or you can purchase it yourself online, either way, if you want to start learning how to do acrylics or gel, but I'm, I'm just saying acrylic because acrylic is a cheaper investment. With gel, you have to get the UV light and all that other stuff, so that's why I'm, I'm just saying acrylic, and I love acrylic. I love acrylic with a gel um, nail polish on top. That's that's what I that's what I do all the time. They're matching my nails, kinda, kinda sorta. So we're gonna go in with that orange now because I said we're gonna use orange, and I'm gonna take the orange and we're just gonna pat it in over here a little bit. Grab that orange and just get it in here. So it goes from yellow to orange. Sorry. And don't listen to Rosie or Diane about... Yes, listen to me. No, you don't need a drill to learn. I never... I, I've been doing nails since I was... I think I said, what, 19? I think 19. And by the time I was uh, 21, I owned one nail salon... And then I owned another nail salon three years later. So I owned two nail salons. Um, and I ne back then, you never used a drill. Drills were not really even thought about. So you don't need a drill. You can just use a nail file. Works the same. It just takes a little bit longer. And I'm going to go back in here now with the yellow. And I'm going to blend it into the green a little bit. Make that green look a little bit brighter. And 
and we're going to brighten up these eyes a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling, guys, by the way. Tagging your friends, sharing me out to um, public groups that you might belong to. That really helps me out a lot. So I'm going to take, there's a pink in here or a purple. I think we're going to go with purple. And I'm going to take the purple and I'm going to go right over the blue. Nice and easy. And just bring that purple all the way around. So we're going to look like, we're going to look like Lucky Charms, right? With the rainbow. Don't, doesn't Lucky Charms have the rainbow? The cereal? I think it does. And we're just going to do the purple right about right there. And try to not hit your brow. Hey, Belinda! Melissa, where can you find what, babe? Where can you find what? All right, there's the purple. It does have a rainbow, right? It's magically delicious. That's right, Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, you did it before I could. You have to watch Broken on Netflix. You know what I started watching on Netflix? I think it was last night. I started watching, um, oh God, Virgin, Virgin something, Virgin River, Virgin Valley, Virgin something. I started watching that, not realizing it was a mini series. But, um, how is Broken? Is it good? Hello, Karen. How are you, Karen? Happy Easter, babe. And I'm just taking that purple and I'm going underneath the blue and bringing it to the inside here. Take some purple. So what's the movie Broken about? Because I got Netflix and I was watching it. Broken's good? Is it sad? Is it sad? Don't tell me it's sad though. It sounds like it would be a sad movie. Is it sad? <laughs> I look like a rainbow, don't I? Oh, my God. We're just going to go. I'm going to blend it out a little bit now so it's not so rainbowish. So we're just going to come in here and we're going to blend this. And then I'm just going to come up here and just blend this out a little bit. Okay. Same thing here. I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. And this will blend a lot more once I clean up the brow line and come down. Broken is a documentary on lots of different topics, but it starts off about counterfeit cosmetics. Really? Oh, so that's why you want me to watch it because of counterfeit cosmetics. Okay, I'll watch it. Absolutely, Dootley. I will, I will. All right, now I'm just going to go in with this white frost, and I'm just going to lighten up all the inside here with a white frost. Same thing with the other side. And then I'm just going to blend it out. I'm good, Karen. How was your Easter? It's frightening? Oh, then I'm not watching. I don't like scary movies. I don't like scary movies. <laughs> There's a whole online market of counterfeit cosmetics made in China. Well, I know that there's counterfeit cosmetics. I heard of that <laughs> from China, no less, right? 
Okay. Oh, no, not that way, scary. I Okay, I know what you mean, scary, scary. Okay, I got it. I got you. I got you, girl. I got you. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just trying to get situated here. So we got a rainbow going on. Oh, I oh I can only imagine. I can only imagine, Deirdre. Really, holy crud. Well, considering you know this whole virus stemmed from China with bats because they eat anything. I'm sorry, but Chinese people will eat anything, and I think that's really how it all started with this bat thing. So, let me go and clean up underneath here. And under here. And then I'll just blend it in with my brush. Like that. I will read your comments. Just give me one second. Grotesque eating habits. Oh, I know. I know. I know. And I'm sorry if there's any Oriental people on here. I don't mean to, um, you know... It's just, you know, it's a different culture. Let's just say that. It's a different culture. They eat differently than we do. And, uh, unfortunately, because of what they ate, that's what caused this virus. So I'm just going to go back over this a little bit just to add some color. Like I said, it's going to be a rainbow, but it's not going to be like how it was. Add a little bit of purple, get some more purple up here, some purple up here. I got to turn the fan on because I'm starting to sway it. Hold on a minute. Let me just plug this in. Oh, I got something in my eyeball. Okay. I still got something in my eyeball. Okay, let's go and... Why do I have something in my eye? It's hurting. Hold on. Oh my gosh, Deirdre, really? That's crazy. Oh my god. That's disgusting, Sharon. <laughs> oh my god. And you don't know, I have a very weak stomach, so... <laughs> <laughs> I have a very weak stomach. <sighs> really, that's just horrible. That's just so bad. Oh, I can't even imagine. But I guess they'll use anything, right? They'll use anything just to make some money. But you know what? There's there's companies in the States that, I mean, I don't know if they'll use afterbirth. <laughs> Excuse me. I got something in my eye, and I think I just got it. Um, hopefully, we don't use anything like that. 
That would be disgusting. But you know what? I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Okay. Happy Easter, Miss Hazel. How are you, beautiful? Did you have a good day? I hope. I hope you had a good day, babe. And we're just going and just adding colors as we go. Don't know if it's true or not, but sorry I didn't mean <laughs> No, that's okay, babe. That's okay. No worries. My stomach will handle it. It'll handle it. I got a weak stomach. That's true, but... Let me just get some of this. We're going to put this right here in the middle of our eye. We're going to take some more and put some more on this side. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up our eyes like we always say. If you have really squinty eyes, closed eyes, hooded eyes, and you want your eyes to open up. Thank you for sprinkling out there, guys. I appreciate it. So once you're done with that, all you're going to do is just like really just pat it in just to blend it a little bit. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, babe. All right, so when I think we're going to come in a little bit more, almost like a cut crease. I just think that that would make it look a little bit better. So we're just going to come in and hide some more of that yellow. Like so. So I hope that Whoever was wondering about my nails, we did the nails today. This is, I think this is actually, this concealer is past its expiration date. You know how I could tell? Look, it's coming off of my eye rather than going on my eye. So we're going to use the other concealer. We're going to use the other one. The shampoo tells you it is in it. Hi, Janina. How are you? So there, we'll go just like this. Okay. That's better. We're going to let this dry a little bit before we go and blend it. God. Happy Easter, Christine Bond. All right, we're just going to go and kind of. <laughs> That's so funny. Christine. So we're just going to add a little dollop of yellow. Since we took some of the yellow off, we're just going to add a little dollop on the outside now. Since we decided to go with something closer with a cut crease. Thank you for sprinkling, girls. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. 
Oh, the vaping industry. Ah, oh, thanks. Yeah, I did my nails today online. I cut them down pretty short. But um, I wanted you, you guys to see. I wanted you guys to see, um, you know, how to do your nails. If you want to do them yourself, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. We still have that green coming through, see? Okie dokie, Smokey. I like it. It's a little different, right? It's a little different, but I like it. We're just going to come up like this. Clean up this part of our eyes. Come in here, clean up this part. And don't mind me if I'm sniffling a little bit. I'm cleaning up the inside, inside of the eyes right in here. Okay. Am I frozen? Am I frozen? I had to go press ons. I know they're not the same. I know they're not the same. That's why I'm going to try my hardest to give you little tips and tricks. Like I said, remember back in the day, I don't know everybody's ages on here, but back in the day, in the 80s, we did um, a lot of acrylic. We did a lot of um, wraps. Thank you. Um, we did some uh, wraps, uh, um, fiberglass, silk wraps. So you can do... Am I breaking up for anybody else? If I am, I'll go out and come back in. Am I breaking up for anybody else? Oh, you were a nail tech, Melissa. That's awesome. So you know how to do them. So easy peasy, right? You just got to get product. And right now you have to order product online. And a lot of them are, if you're not licensed, you are not able to get the product. They're going to want your um, EIN number, fiberglass, and silk wraps. So what you can do is if you have nails, and let's say um, they're growing out, you can take paper towels, white paper towels, and nail glue. And you can make your own wrap over your acrylic, your gel, anything like that. All you have to do is you got to make sure that you file down your nail really well, the acrylic or the gel, so where it meets your nail plate, it's smooth. Because don't forget, you're putting a paper towel over, but once you put the glue, it's going to be like melt right down onto your nail. So you don't want your natural nail going like this, and then you're going to have a hump where your acrylic or your gel is. What's on my head? It's a mouse. It's a little mouse. <laughs> oh, so if you have wraps, easy peasy. That's great. Then you can just do your wraps. Absolutely. That's what I would do. If I didn't have my acrylic, I would definitely do wraps. Yeah, I did my nails, baby cakes. I did them. They were, I did it on live earlier, but I just did the one that was broken. This one was the one that was broken. So we... Um, I file, I drilled it, and then I, I used a credit card and stuck it in, and I popped it off, filed it down, put a tip on it, used Bond Aid, Bond X, and then applied the acrylic over it. So we fixed that nail, and then I just did my thumb with the acrylic um, as a fill-in, just to show. But yeah, they're all done. They're all done. This hand's a little bit longer than this hand. I'm still going to have to file these down a little bit, but they feel so short. I feel like stubby. I feel all stubby because they're so short. And this might not be short to a lot of people, but to me it's short. And anybody that knows me, it's really short. So now when I go to pick things up, it's like I feel like I can't pick it up for some reason. 
You can use resin, Janet. Um, that'll help. That'll definitely help you um, help it where the um, where the uh, breaking point is. You know where your breaking point is, where the tip meets your natural nail. That's where I will put the resin because you want it built up like right in here. Okay, because that's your break. That's where your breaking point is. Same thing with like right here. That's where your breaking point is. You don't want your nails to be totally flat. You want them to have a little bit of a of a curve to them. Um, so yeah, I would use resin. Resin will definitely um, make them adhere and and make them stronger. And that's what you want. You want them to stay strong, and you just want to make sure that they are in the correct shape. The whole thing with doing nails is just making sure that where that breaking point is, that weak part, that's where you have to really build product up. Oh, thanks, Robin. Um, so, yeah, you have to build it up because if not, your nails, it's just going to break. It's just going to break. So after doing nails for so many years, I've learned little tips and tricks on how... There's really not many tips and tricks that you can do to, to, for your nails. Um, I'll do them myself, and when I don't feel like do, doing them, I'll just go get them done. But once I have my own salon, when all of this is over and done with, um, I'll definitely... I'll have somebody do them, but then I'll do my airbrushing and my nail art and all the nail designs. I'll do that. So I'm using the Mile High Club. I, I figured out just to get it a little warm to get some more of that product out because I love this mascara so much. Oh, thanks, Deirdre. Yeah, when you're used to them, right, when you're used to them really, really long, um, and then you get them cut down short, they do feel stubby. I went from total stilettos out here, about that long, to coffins a little bit shorter, to square. Um, just in the last couple of months, from working in the nail salons here in North Carolina... You know, because you're always, when you're in between customers, you get bored, and then you're like, what am I going to do? I'm just going to do something else. Do the bunny ears tomorrow. Which bunny ears? I have a bunch of bunny ears. I have a bunch of bunny ears. Thank you, Lauren. You are a top fan plus one, Lauren. Congratulations, Lauren. She's got two badges. She's got two badges. She's a badass. She's a badass. So that's the first coat. How did Frankie's recovery go? What recovery? What do you mean, Melissa? What recovery? <laughs> you are? She's a badass. The ones that you make move. Oh my god, I need it so bad. I have stubby nails right now. It's horrible. Yes, the ones that, oh, the ones that make me, oh, the ones that I squeeze and they go up. Yes, I will definitely wear those tomorrow. <laughs> I'll definitely wear them tomorrow. All right, we're going to plump our lips a little bit. Um, make sure this is my sixth glass of water. I have one more to go, and I'll be done with my seven glasses for the day. Um, the yoga class was really good. Um, Tara came in and joined the yoga class, which was great. Um, it's every day at 2 o'clock. We are building up by the end of the week. I'm hoping for 10 people in the class. 
Um, it's just in Zoom, so nobody can watch you. Nobody can critique you and tell you that you're heavy or you're fat or you can't do this or you can't do that. Oh, thank you. I'm still waiting. I, I didn't see what, um, what she meant by that. Melissa Kopak, how did Frankie's recovery go? I don't know what she means by that. Hi, Linda. All right, we're going to plump. Awesome, Lauren. Awesome. More the merrier. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Not bad. I'm still bruising a little bit on the top because I'm not used to this plumper, so we'll fix it. No biggie. Um, the yoga classes are so much fun. Okay, there it's at two o'clock every day, every day two o'clock, and it's on a Zoom meeting. So you have to be invited by Tia. Tia is the one that has the Zoom meeting. And she invites everybody. So if you want to get in on the yoga, um, just let Tia know and she'll send you an invite. You have to have Zoom in order to be invited. Good morning, Jamie. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't know. Whoever did, they better start letting me know who gave me these lip plumper. I think people just like watching me use the lip plumper, honestly. <laughs> I think people just like me sucking on it. Um, Can you see us in the yoga class? Yes. Yes, I can. And the reason why is you can shut it, and I don't have to watch you if you don't want me to. But the reason why I recommend that you keep your video camera on is because if you're doing something um, improperly, you're not doing a pose the right way, you can wind up hurting yourself. And I don't want you hurting yourself, so I will correct you if I see that you're doing something and you're not doing it right. I don't want you straining yourself and hurting yourself because you know what? Then it's not going to be fun and you're going to hurt yourself and you're never going to want to do it again. There's Tara. Tara was in the yoga class today. Hey, Tara, how was it? Everybody's asking. Everybody's asking. Let me find my other brush. You can ask Tara all about it. Tara was in the class. She did awesome. It was her first time in the class. And it was fun. Oh, oh, his, his recovery from the heart attack? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. He's out riding his bike every day. 
back to normal. It's the second stent he's had put in, so um, he's pretty used to it, unfortunately, and that's not saying it in a good way. And we're just going to go and highlight. Highlight onto here. I gotta move this down a little bit. Move that over a little. That light was killing me, so I hope that's okay. I hope it's not too dark. Is there a link for the Huda to nominate you for the giveaway? I was looking on her site, didn't see anything unless I was on the wrong site. Um, it's Huda, it, you have to go to Huda Katan on Instagram and watch her live from today, it's from yesterday, I think, and sh underneath where the comments are, all you do is send in a comment and you can write whatever you want and you just have to, I think you just have to give your email address. So they know who you are. And if, if I do happen to win or anything like that, they'll let you get notified as well. So, yeah, I, I hope I I hope I do. Because, you know, everybody's hurting right now. And I get it. But um, to not have any clients right now and coming on here and just doing this with you girls, I'm not making any money doing this. But I think it's fun. And as long as I can keep you girls happy... And get your mind off of what's going on. Uh, I, you did so awesome, Tara. You did awesome. Oh, Melissa, really? No, Frank, he did fine. This was his second. Actually, he had three. They redid the second one and um, because it collapsed. And then he did, he just got this last one done. Oh, really, Tara? That's okay. Maybe you can join us again. Maybe I'll start having some night classes. You know, I don't know. We'll see. But it was great having you in class. Absolutely. And listen, don't feel anybody that you can't do it. You go at your own pace. Trust me. No, I'm not drinking my coffee. I am down to two glasses of glasses, two cups of coffee in the morning. That's it. And I am drinking water, this water, with my flavoring in it. This is like um, strawberries and cream, I think it's called. Zero calories, zero sugar. And um, I drink, this is my sixth one, did I say, or my seventh? Sixth one. I got one more to go before bed. So, with using this, with drinking the water, it really jumps. See, I am, if you know me, I am a, a huge coffee drinker. And not that I'm going to cut coffee out altogether, but I'm cutting out the coffee now because I want to drink a lot of water. I want to flush out my system. And... Whenever I have coffee, I use a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. So that's helping me lose the weight and lose the inches as well. Bye, Jamie. Have a great day. Oh, thank you, Melissa. So, yeah, so, I mean, it's good with me not drinking that much coffee because I'm not taking that sugar intake. The sugar intake is what makes you hold on to your weight. Um, I'm really trying, like Frankie made pasta tonight, and I ha hardly had any. I had um, a piece of chicken from last night, and I had an avocado, which is a good fat. And then I had, for a snack today, I had um, the 100 calorie, it's like nuts and cranberries in it. it. They're individual packets, so I had that. And I'm not hungry. Actually, I have the most energy I've ever had in quite a long time. A lot of energy. So, 
I don't know if it's, like I said, I keep saying this, I don't know if it's the yoga, I don't know if it's the vitamins that I started taking recently, or a combination of everything. Flavored water. I am not a water person at all, Sherry, at all. I can't drink water, and I am, I'm still, even at this point, I'm still like, like really forcing it down. Really forcing it down, but I know that it's helping. You know why I know? Number one, my skin is more radiant. My skin is more plump, okay? I could tell that I was very extremely dehydrated because everything was, I was sagging and I was just like brown. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but now my skin is much more vibrant, um, much more clear. Um, I feel better. I really do. I feel incredible, like I can conquer the world. Um, it's also, by doing the yoga, tea is great. If you can drink green tea, green tea, um, black tea is really good. All of that, tea is awesome. But don't forget, tea has a lot of um, caffeine in it as well. Um, and if you have tea, lemon and honey are great. For, you know, for weight loss, to make yourself feel better um, when you're sick. I'm just using a light pink because we used a little bit of the pink on my eyes. So we're going with a little bit of pink on the blush. And we're blending it into our contour first. So this way it blends a little bit on the tip of my nose, a little on my chin. And then we're going to work on our lips. But yeah, tea is great if you like tea, um, but really, water, water, water. Water and yoga. Yoga is, I can't even begin to explain to you the benefits of yoga. With everything that we're going through right now with this coronavirus, right, Pardon me. A lot of people are getting depressed, which we always talk about every night because if anybody is getting depressed, I hope that you would come and talk and chat and let us know how you're feeling. Um, energy drinks are not good for you at all. Don't even go for those energy drinks. They don't help you. They just make your heart race. They have tons of caffeine in them. Um, those five-hour shot things or whatever those things are, they are the worst for you. Um, you can have actually have a heart attack f from having those, and I've read up on it. And I had a friend about a year and a half ago, and she drank it every morning because it gave her energy in the morning um, to go to work. And I kept telling her, don't do it, don't do it. And it's funny, she didn't do it for a while, and now she's doing it again, I think. I think I saw her um, on a live doing it again, and it's just the worst thing for you, the worst. Hey, Brenda, die your Coke. Don't, if you drink soda, you got to cut your soda out, right? Just like I cut my, my coffee out. You got to cut soda. Soda is so bad for you. It's so bad. I'm telling you. It's so bad for you. So, 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 so bad. All right. So we're going to go in with the color Alluring and Devoted. And we're going to line our lips with the eyeshadow. And we're just going to go with a clear lip tonight. And I'm just following the outside line of my lip. God zooks. And then we're just going to go and make a V or you can make a U. Either one. I usually make a V coming down. Like so. And then you just follow your under, your bottom lip. All the way around, and then this way, all the way around. Okay, now it looks dark. We're gonna ombre them a little bit. I was I was starting to get um, actual headaches when I stopped the coffee. When I went from like 
10 cups a day down to two cups a day. Around four o'clock, I was starting to get like a headache, like a migraine headache. So I wound up having a cup of coffee in the afternoon just for the first couple days. Because you do go through withdrawals and you got to be really careful. You know, it's like a drug. It's like smoking. If you're going to quit cold turkey, you got to be careful. And I always say, listen to your body. Listen to your body. Your body will tell you whether you need caffeine or you don't. Whether you're going into a withdrawal, your hands start shaking, you get a little jittery, you get a little uptight. Good for you, Jumps. Don't drink those energy drinks. Those are horrible. So we're just ombre in the lips again. And I'm going to go in with... Let's see. We're going to go in. We'll do a lip stain tonight. How's that? We'll go in with a lip stain... I think we'll go in with, I think this is shy. This is speechless. Let's see if I have shy handy. I know I do. This might be it. Yes, we'll go in with shy. And after we do the shy, then we will go in with a lip gloss. All right? So I'm going to go in with the lip stain. And when you're using a lip stain, you never want to rub your lips together. Don't rub them together. Just let the lip stain dry. Okay, let it dry. Hey, Chris, how are you? So just let that dry. I'm only doing one coat because I don't want to go really dark on my lips. I want the attention on the eyes, okay? On the eyes with the yellow, um, with all those colors. I'm bringing the light a little closer in so you can see. So you wait for this to dry. It's got to dry completely. So I'm going to turn my fan over and make sure that my lips dry. <laughs> I'm going to let them dry a little bit. Yeah, they're really bad for you. Don't please don't go and start drinking those energy shot drinks and all that. It's really not good for you. Thank you, Kaz. So while we're waiting for our lips to dry, I'm just gonna go back in with my and fix my eyebrows because we always do that. We make the brows a little bit darker, especially on the outside. Right up here, we're just gonna darken them in a little bit. And just make sure that they're colored in a little bit. Same thing with this side. Oh, you know what movie I saw? I forgot to tell you guys. You know what I saw the other night? That I haven't seen in ages. Oh, thank you, Gina. Thanks for sprinkling. Thanks for being a top fan and a top sharer. If you got both badges, it will say top fan plus one. If you want both badges, you've got to sprinkle out. Sprinkling means to share, to public groups, tag your friends, get them in here, and you will get your badge. So once this is dry now, I'm just going to go in with the Rose Gold Lip Gloss. Yeah. And yeah... I, I read what you said, Deirdre, and Jesse. another thing about yoga is there's no pounding on your legs, no pounding on your knees. Many of you know that I was a gymnast from the time I was like five until the time I went through college. And now I can't get up once I'm on the floor and people laugh at me because I'm like, I've fallen and I can't get up. 
But it's true. I can't get up because my knees are so bad that I probably have no cartilage left in my knees just from the constant pounding of the floor exercise and the vault of running and the pounding and pounding on my knees. They, they're just shot. So I know that I'm going to have to go and get a knee replacement. I know it. I'm just putting it off until I literally can't get back up. <laughs> Isn't it? I love the rose gold. And it lightens up the lip stain a little bit because I'm not a dark lipstick wearer at all. I don't like dark lipstick at all. Lip stains. Now, if I was, if this was the morning and I put the lip stain on, the lip stain will stay on till tomorrow. No joke. You can eat, drink, have a lollipop, an ice cream cone, anything, and it does not come off. So if you're a type of person that hates to redo your lipstick in the middle of the day, you you know, you might want to get a lip stain. You need a body replacement. Thanks, Lauren Plus One. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse Jumps. You're a sharer, but you're not the plus one yet. What happened, Jumps? You're not a plus one yet. All right, so let's go in and we're going to do some highlighting on our face. We're going to use the Tardiest. Okay, this is the highlighter that I use. It's called Tardiest. Obviously, it's by Tarte. And, I, and people have asked me, why do you use the highlighter and then use the translucent setting powder? There really is no rhyme or reason. I could do it either way. You're trying to be a top fan, just like other people trying to get that, that share a badge. You just got to go and share and share and share and share and share and share. <laughs> um, and Facebook does not like that word, so I'm probably, my algorithms probably just went down the tubes by doing that. So we can't say that word anymore. Can't say that word anymore. So there really is no rhyme or reason why you're going to go and do your highlighter first, then your translucent. It doesn't make a difference. I'm just going to use it now because that's what I've been doing. Thank you for all the hearts. And I'm going to go in with the color called Lit. L-I-T. And if you don't know how to use a highlighter, you're just going to hold the flashlight over your head. Wherever the light hits your face, that's where you put the highlighter. And it's really easy. It's going to hit your forehead, right? It's going to go and go right down your nose. And at the tip of your nose, you're going to get an extra little light. So I put a little extra on the tip of my nose. Then you're going to have some on your Cupid's bow, which is right here. Then you're going to do some on your chin. And then you're going to do a number seven. It's very easy. You're going to dip the top part of your cheek and then come over this way. So a number seven, just like that. All right, same thing with the other side. You can't say the S-H-A-R-E word. <laughs> you can't say S-H-A-R-E. That's why I say sprinkle instead, because Facebook doesn't like it. it. It brings down your algorithms, and algorithms is everything on Facebook. So that's why we need to sprinkle to all the groups, if you don't belong to any groups, join some makeup groups, join some um, over 50 groups, because I'm over 50. Uh, the yellow, what color is it? Tara, it is, let me find it, I'm grabbing all my palettes here. That is the color, <laughs> Clubby. That's the name of it, Clubby, is the yellow on my lid, okay? So once you highlight, that's when you can put it away, and now you can grab your translucent setting powder. And the translucent setting powder is actually, I love when you buy it, and it says it's banana powder. Because banana powder is the best translucent setting powder, in my opinion, because it's finely, finely milled. 
It's got a little uh, color to it. It's not white, white. How many sprinkles do we got, Jumps? If you want me to keep calling you Jumps, or I might have to just start calling you... I might have to start calling you Jesse May. Might have to call you Jesse May. I'm using the Becca. This is the Hydrate Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Okay? This is a new um, setting powder for me. So I don't know how it's going to work, how good it is. We will see right now. Because I've never used it. Um, I, it was sent to me by, um, the, the maker of this, I guess it's Becca. A lot of times I will get sent products, I'll get sent products and they'll ask me to check it out, see if I like them, if I like them, they want me to promote them, so most of the times I don't promote unless it's like out of this world, and then I'll let you know I'm promoting or I'm affiliate marketing, which I'm really not into doing that. So if I was going to affiliate market anything, it would be the Wanderlust um, Mascara. That's what I probably would use. So I'm going to take my Witch Hazel and I'm going to spritz it onto my Booty Blender. I call it a Booty Blender. And I'm going to put it in to this translucent setting powder. And I'll tell you right now, I could tell right away, just by looking at it, that it is not finely milled. Okay? But we'll go and we'll try it anywho. And we're going to go and put it right where it needs to be, right in here. And we're just going to bring it all the way up and down our nose. Now, the reason why I could tell it's not finely milled, thank you, Tara. Isn't it your favorite? It's my favorite mascara, too. You're going to do down the side of your nose, and then you're going to come up. So if you have a sprinkle, if you've sprinkled to enough groups, you can sprinkle up to 10 groups a day, okay? 10 groups a day without getting put in Facebook jail. It won't let you share out or sprinkle out to more than 10, okay? So any kinds of, you know, makeup lives, um skincare, any kind of group like that you can join as long as it says that it's a public group. You don't want to join a private group and then what happens? You go and you share it and then they get you for spamming. You don't want to join a private group, only public. Okay? Oh, I got an itch. Okay, so we'll see how this works. We'll see how it works. I mean... So far, I'm not impressed, okay? I'm not impressed. 68 sprinkles. Come on, girls. Let's get to 100. Let's get to 100 sprinkles. So, when you're baking, you just got to let it sit on your face for about one to three minutes. Warren, that's okay because you've got um your you've got two badges already. So that's great. You've got the top fin and you got your sprinkle badge. So you got two badges so far. Deirdre did too. Good night, Deirdre. Have a good night. Happy Easter. And we're gonna do one more coat just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. Of this unbelievable mascara. And like I said, I don't sell anything. I don't belong to any multi-level marketing companies. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just tell you what I love and it's up to you. You can go on Amazon. You can purchase. Most of these products are on Amazon. I think, Tia, where did you get yours and how much was it? Tia went and got her mascara. This is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club. And it's definitely a mile high, these lashes. This is what it looks like. And like I said, I've said it before, the reason why I love it is because you can squeeze the product, right? You can squeeze it, and you can make it nice and warm in your hand. No sticking it in your bra, under your armpit, sitting on it. 
that's just not cool. It's not professional to do that. So I know a lot of girls that are out there doing makeup tutorials or sticking this in their bra to warm it up. I mean, in their pants, underneath their ass. I mean, I don't do that. So that's another reason why they should all get this because you can just warm it up and knead it between your fingers, hold it in your hand, and just warm it up like that. Um, so T, it was on Amazon and it's $24. Best $24 you'll ever spend. You don't even have to pump your mascara. Don't go like this. You don't have to pump it. The reason why you don't have to pump it is because you're moving all of the product around as you're squeezing this tube. So you don't have to pump. You're not putting bacteria back into here and you're not pumping it and putting air back. Hence, it's going to last a lot longer than your regular mascara will. So if you're not pumping, you're not pushing air into the tube. If you're pumping, you're pushing air and bacteria back into the tube, and it's going to dry up a lot quicker. So I love it. I'm a fan. I am a fan. Now we're just going to go, and we're going to take all of this off, and we're just going to swoosh it away. Swish it, okay, and then you go and do it all over your face, blend it all over, down your neck, and what it does is baking will make your face look like velvet. All of the products will blend, so you have your contour, your blush, and your highlight, and you don't see any lines, right? There's no lines. Everything is perfectly blended one right into the other. The highlight is still there on the tip of my nose. You can see it. I kind of go around that tip of my nose area, and I do the whole rest of my face. So if you want, and you want to set your makeup really well, you really need to use setting powder. And my recommendation is the banana butter or the banana powder. It's highly pigmented. Um, it gives you a little bit of color. It's not white. Um, I just love it. It's very, very finely milled. You will not be disappointed in it at all. And for being a makeup artist for as many years as I have, it really, really works. It sets your makeup. Your makeup's not going to go anywhere. Another little tip and trick, which I, I've shown you guys before, but if you've missed it, is you can take one of your fluffy brushes. I'm just going to clean it on my towel, make sure there's no product on there. And you're going to pat it into your translucent powder. Then you're just going to go and brush it over your brow. Okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to keep your brow in place. If it's hot in the summertime and you sweat a lot and you accidentally go like this or you hit or you're just like sweating and you just go like that, your brows are going to go with it. <laughs> your brows are going to go with it. Same thing with your lip liner. You can do the same thing. Okay? You can do it all over your lips or you can just do your lip line all the way around. That will set your lip liner so it doesn't bleed, okay? It doesn't come off and doesn't bleed. Um, I've showed this before. I'll do it again really quickly before we get off, just so you know and you can see what it does. Okay, this is a really pretty color. I got to This is the color Conceited. I haven't used this color in a while, but you can see both of these, right? They're both lipsticks, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Take some of my banana powder, and I'm going to go over the one lipstick line. Just the one. Okay? Just like so. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pretend it's on my face, right? Pretend it's blush on my face. What happens is if you don't have anything on, look. If you have no translucent setting powder, it comes all off and it blends right off of your face. When you have setting powder on your hands or on your face, 
you can go like this and it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it might lighten up, but it's not going to go anywhere. Not like that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay? So that's the point of having translucent setting powder on your face. I'm having a flash sale. I'm not sure when. I sell makeup all the time on my VIP group. You have to be in my VIP in order to um, get in on my flash sales. I sell makeup. I sell hair accessories, like these cute little headbands and stuff like that. Um, jewelry, I sell um, sunglasses. Everybody from my sunglasses just sold out completely um, last week. Completely. I get the coolest looking sunglasses. Uh, so I have my flash sales. After everything starts opening back up, it will be at least once or twice a week. Right now, it's once a week. Um, I didn't have one this weekend because it was Easter weekend. So all of the products that were bought from the flash sale from last week, and everybody paid, I'm going to go to the post office probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow, definitely Tuesday, and mail these out, um, all of the packages that I have. So... In order to get into my VIP, Debbie, you just have to message um, Tia or Jesse. Um, either one of them you can message, or you can message me here on my, um, on my page. I'm also going to be opening up my nail class. Um, it's going to be a different page. It's not going to be on my makeup page. It's going to be a nail learning how to do um, acrylic nails, gel tips, I just did mine today. I did it a little bit on my live just to show you how I repaired this nail. This nail was broken all the way down to here with the acrylic. So we we drilled it off. We, we popped it off with a credit card. We added a tip. We fixed it. We added the acrylic. Bada bing, bada boom. It's all done. All the rest of my nails are done. They're a little bit um, shorter than I'm used to. A little bit. But... That's okay. Um, yeah, Debbie, if you send um, a Pansy a message, my nail class, I'm still trying to think of a name for it. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. Diane's makeup class, Diane's makeup therapy, because this is enhanced beauty therapy, enhanced nail therapy. No, that doesn't sound good. Everybody, like, give me some names, and I'll I'll just take what you got. Because it doesn't matter to me. Whatever the name you want me to name my nail, my nail page, we can do it. So, I'll be teaching acrylics. I'll be teaching the proper way to do a manicure. Because a lot of you girls have natural nails, and you're always wondering why your nails do not grow. Okay. Thank you, Tara. Hey, Ada, how are you? Where are you from? Ada's brand new, girls. Welcome, Ada, to the room. Um, I've been doing acrylic. I've been doing nails for th over thirty something years. So, thank you, Ada. Yeah, we used a bunch of different colors today. We used yellow. We used green. We used some purple. We used some orange, and we used some pink. And um, we use white eyeliner on our waterline. We use dark blue on the outside of our eye, um, right outside the waterline. Then we went in with a purple on the inside. We did our brows. Remember, if you don't do your brows, you are adding five years to the appearance of your face. And that's without skincare. That's not even mentioning skincare. So make sure you take care of your face. Uh, what I would love for you to do is, if not tonight, tomorrow, I would love for you to do a, a cleansing mask. And all you have to do is get olive oil and get some sugar and just mix it up and then just put it on your face and just exfoliate the crap out of your face, okay? Because you have such dead skin sitting on your face right now, you can't even imagine, okay? Okay. Uh, it's really bad. If you haven't exfoliated your face in a week, it's a week too long. So make sure that you do that, that you exfoliate. If you don't have an exfoliant, like I said, 
olive oil, coconut oil, vegetable oil, any kind of oil with sugar and mix it up to a paste and just put it all over your face, scrub it around, don't do near your eye area, just do everything below the eye area. Enhanced Nails by Diane, I love it, that's the name of my page. Somebody better remember it, Enhanced Nails by Diane. So, just do a scrub on your face. You're not you're going to be amazed at how much brighter your face looks, how much cleaner, pardon me, how much cleaner, and then you're going to go and put your your um either your day cream or your nighttime cream or if you don't have a day and nighttime cream, use one kind of lotion, put it all over your face, um just let it seep in, don't rub it all in. And the next day, your face is going to feel incredible. It's going to feel incredible the next day. And the same thing, like I told all the girls who had taken my yoga class. I'm not a yogi. I'm not great at yoga. But we do it every day at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Time. And if you want to come in and join, listen, I've never felt better. I'm losing inches. I'm losing weight. T has lost 5 pounds since Tuesday. So, I mean... You're losing inches, but you're also losing weight. Drinking the water gets you going. It keeps your mind going. Dehydration is the worst thing for you. It really is. And I'm noticing it now that I'm drinking a lot more water. And I got a hair on my nose and it's driving me bonkers. So I can't drink regular water, so I will drink the flavored, you know, I'll, I'll put the crystal light in or anything that has no sugar and no calories. I'm down to two cups of coffee in the morning. Um, that's it. If I want to have a cup, if maybe I'm in the mood like four or five o'clock, I'll have another cup. But I'm trying not to because I use two, ta two teaspoons of sugar in my coffee. So imagine what I was doing to my body every day, drinking coffee all day and all night. And I know a lot of yous. Um, you should do a sugar scrub or an exfoliant if you wear makeup every day at least once a week. There's nothing wrong with it. Once a week is great. Once a week is great. You can also do a, a um, exfoliating scrub with natural organic honey and sugar. That's another way which I love the honey and the sugar. It is a little sticky, but you just scrub it in, and then you just sit with it on your face for a little while. Then you wash it off, and your face feels like silk. It feels like a baby's tushy. It really does. So, yoga class at 2 o'clock. I'm going to be starting my nail class up. I got this room going. I need everybody to invite your friends. Start a watch party for me if you can. Because watch parties are super, super important. That's where you can go and invite your friends to watch a replay of this live. Or any live. Okay? And that would really, really... You drink your coffee black? I wish I could. My daughter went from two tables, two teaspoons of sugar, half and half in her coffee, just like a mama. And she wound up getting off of the half and half first and then the sugar. And now she drinks the black too. Yeah, you definitely need to exfoliate and you definitely need to drink a lot of water. Whether you like it or not, I'm telling you, you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel such a difference. Your eyes are going to be brighter. Your skin's going to be brighter. You're going to have more energy. You're going to be losing inches. You're going to be losing weight. Whether you can't do the yoga, that's fine. Go for a walk. Go for a walk when you get home from work or before you go to work. You got to get in that mindset because once you start, you'll keep doing it. It's just getting started. Like me getting started back into yoga, it took me a long time. It took me a long time. I was doing it every single day in the gym two years ago and I was probably the thinnest and healthiest and fittest I have ever been in my life. Then, it just, everything happened, and, and, and it, I just got away from it. For whatever reason, I got away from it, started gaining weight, went through menopause, started gaining more weight, um, feeling sluggish, 
Um, I take three times a day, I take my um, probiotics. Probiotics are great. Great, great, great. And I take really good probiotics three times a day. That that's one thing I will always I will always spend a little bit more on the pro, uh, the probiotics than I do on my other vitamins. I take vitamin D because we're not out in the sun all day, right? It's not the summer. Um, seasonal depression, so I take 300 IU's in the morning and 300 at night. I take a vitamin C. I take a magnesium. I take fish oil. I mean, you might look at me and go, "Oh my God, really? She takes a lot of stuff." I do. But you know what? If it makes you feel better and the one vitamin I will put out there for the rest of my life is St. John's Wort. If you've never taken it and you've never tried it, you have to try it. It is the most amazing vitamin. Especially if you're lackluster, if you have no energy, you feel just blah all the time. A lot of that has to do with depression. St. John's wort used to be given as an antidepressant. Let me grab it really quick and I'll show you. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is the um, this is the probiotic that I take, and I get it at um, I think it's I think I get it at Whole Foods. I don't know if anybody else has Whole Foods, but it is called Flora. It's gluten free, and it's six adult specific strains, seventeen billion cells. Okay, and it says here that you can take. Suggested use is take one capsule three times a day on a full stomach. And that's what I do. Um, so this is the one that I take. I don't know if there's a brand to it. It's a dietary supplement, raw probiotics, and it's got 60 capsules in it. I guess the name is Flora. That's the brand name. You lack life. You bought some. <laughs> this is awesome. Awesome, okay? I take it three times a day. Then I also take this. It's pure collagen 20. Okay, pure collagen. And it's for skin elasticity, radiant hair, and strong nails. I don't really care about my nails because I have my acrylics on, but for my hair and for my skin. This is flavorless. There's no flavor in it whatsoever. You could take a teaspoon of this and put it in your coffee, a teaspoon and put it in your water. That's what I do. In the morning, I take one teaspoon of this and I put it into my flavored water and I got my collagen for the day. So, I love this. It's 20 servings. It's a dietary supplement. Um, pure hydrolyzed collagen. Um... Oh, dang, it's got 25 calories. Mix two tables. The real way you're supposed to, I only use a teaspoon and put it in my thing, but mix two tablespoons with water or your fla flavor, it, flavor it, your favorite beverage, or take one to three tablespoons daily for optimum health. And it says collagen provides a superior form of protein and 20 amino acids that are naturally found in bone, skin, and cartilage. So for me, being 54 years old, I want to make sure, you know, as you get older, your bones tend to get brittle. Um, you can break a bone very easy. You know, that's why elderly people, if they fall, they normally will break a bone. So that's why I'm taking this. Hey, Stephanie. So drink your water. Take your probiotics. It'll keep you regular. It does, though. It really does. It keeps everything, your whole gut flowing. Um, drinking the water is a natural detox, especially when you're taking your probiotics. And 
I'm telling you, you're just going to feel great. You really are. And if you keep watching, I mean, I'll try to keep you motivated. You keep me motivated. I take, I used to take the biotin for my nails, but I don't really need it. You know what I mean? I don't really need it. So, um, I hope you had a great time tonight. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Easter. Um... I'll post my selfies. I know that a lot of people have not liked my page and following my page. I keep looking at the numbers every day. So please, when you come on, make sure you reach the top of my page and click the like button and the follow. Because the follows are going up, but the likes. So we want them both to be around 2,000 right now. And one I think is at 16 something and the other is at like 2,000, something like that. So please make sure you like and follow my page. You only have to do it once. You don't have to do it every day. But if anybody's new on here um, and you know they're new, please remind them to like and follow my page as well. I'd greatly appreciate it. The St. John's Wart gives you total energy. I forgot to mention that. Energy, like, it's not like, it's not making you, like, your heart palpitate. You don't feel nothing in your heart, so don't think your heart's going to race. It just gives you energy where I told, I was making a joke, but it really was true. The first time I took it, my girlfriend told me to take it because I was feeling depressed, um, probably seasonal depression a little bit, you know, not too happy with my weight and the way I looked. So she's like, take St. John's wort. You're going you're gonna to find it amazing. So she didn't tell me not to take it at nighttime. So when I went to the store... At night, I grabbed a St. John's wort. I popped one of them in my mouth. And it is natural energy. I popped it in my mouth and went to bed. Couldn't sleep. Could not sleep. I got up. I was mopping the floor. I was down on my hands and knees. I'm scrubbing and I'm scrubbing and I'm scrubbing. And I just... I felt, ooh, like I had to do something. I just felt so good. How many milligrams of the St. John's wort? I don't know if it comes in different milligrams or not. Hold on, let me check. Okay, so I have Nature's Bounty, which is a good brand name. It's not one of the best vitamin brands, but I usually use Nature's Bounty. And this is Standardized Extract Double Strength St. John's Wort 300 milligrams. And I take it in the morning when I have my coffee. And, you know, now I'm like almost immune to, not immune to it, but it keeps me energized throughout the day. So it promotes a positive mood. It's a mood enhancer is really what it is for people that, like I said, when you were depressed or if you're depressed, this is what doctors used to give you before trying you out on any other kind of antidepressants. Hey, Michelle, happy Easter. So this will keep you up all night. If you don't take it in the morning, make sure you take it in the morning. So I take that, and then I take D3 5000 I use. Okay, I take this one, and this is Nature Made brand. I just get them in Walmart. And this is um, supports bone, teeth, muscle, immune system. This is what's going to keep you going in the wintertime with seasonal depression. Um, so... Like I said, all of these, the St. John's Warts, the, um, the pro adult probiotics by Flora, all of them are going to help you feel better, I think, because I've been taking them. So, you're on D3s? Yeah, I mean, it's going to help you. Absolutely, it's going to make you feel great. And if you're doing exercise, like I said, you're doing my yoga class, stretch. It's not really all yoga. It's stretching, it's stomach, it's legs, it's glutes. It's, you know, it's a bunch of stuff. And it's going to make you feel better. And it's much better when you're doing it with people and you can see them and we can laugh. And we can go, come on, we can do it Two more people. <laughs> so, happy Easter. Thank you, Michelle. 
So I'm going to take my selfies and my little mini mouse. My little mouse is going to go to sleep in a little bit. So, like I said, have a great rest of your Easter. Please start a watch party if you haven't already. You felt it in your stomach today. We did a lot of stomach today. We did. So, I'm just putting on some of this rose gold. This way I could take my selfies and be done and then take my makeup off. So, God bless you all. Have a great rest of your night. I'll see you tomorrow. If you want to get in on the yoga class, 2 o'clock, message Tia or message Jesse Jumps. Either one of them can get you into the Zoom meeting. It's not live. It's not on here where everybody's watching you. Uh, I'm going to start with my nail classes on enhanced, enhanced Nails by Diane. Is that what it was? Enhanced Nails by Diane. Oh, you're welcome, Tara, and thank you so much for joining my yoga class today. You were a hoot, and you did awesome. I'm proud of you. Happy Easter, Laura. So I'll be on tomorrow at 2 o'clock on Zoom for our yoga exercise class, and then tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, every night I'm on here. So please make sure you like and follow my page. That means just so much to me that if you like it and follow it, and God bless you. Sleep with angels tonight. I'll post my selfies in two minutes. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your night. God bless you.